What's going on guys, Retex Switch here, hope I'm a wonderful day, got a new video for you guys. So, recently I uploaded 1.1.5, the 16 gigabyte version, which was not available on the desktop version. It was only available on the mobile version. However, they actually updated it here. But, I actually found out something that, going through their website, not the win.anbernic, but the anbernic website, guys, they actually have the 64 gigabyte version, not from this one here, the win.anbernic, but the actual anbernic.com. They have the 64 gigabyte version of 1.1.5. So, I have it downloaded. All right, here's our RG from the fifth, uh, the 1.1.5 16 gigabyte version. This is the one here where we did the two drives for the video and whatnot. But you guys can see here, if I go to my Chrome downloads, right here. 0.564 gigabyte so we're going to reflash this SD card with the 64 gigabyte version here so let's go ahead and unzip this one here we're going to 7 zip this a download link will be in the description of course guys and be sure to save your ROMs your BIOS and all that just in case something does happen so let's go ahead and extract the files we're going to put that up, up, up. we can actually put it right here Let's go ahead and do that. Now while that is extracting, you see we'll get the folder on the top right there. Let's go ahead and open up mini tool partition. And let's go to our SD card here, the micro SD. Delete all partitions because we're not gonna be using that anymore. Now go ahead, right click, create. We're going to whatever, it does not matter. FAT32, hit okay, hit apply. Hit yes, let it do its thing right here. Take a couple seconds, partition size 59, perfect. Creating. Updating, this will delete everything off your micro SD card, of course, guys. But yeah, I did private that video for the 16 gigabyte because that's not necessary, that whole thing is not necessary. So a lot of you guys probably did not see that one because, I uh, like I said, I did private it. Let it update. And if this does help, guys, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, of course. Go ahead and close that out. Quit. Now we're going to cut this part out. I'm going to, you know, whatever, cut it out, like I said. And I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, guys, we are all set. Our image file, 60 gigabytes. That is perfect. So go ahead now and open up Rufus. They give you 3.2.1, I believe, in here, yeah. But I have 4.4, so label E, of course, this one here is our drive. Go ahead and hit select. Look for that 1.1.5 in here, in here, image, open, and just hit start. Hit okay. Guys, I'm going to pause this here. I'm going to cut when it is done. All right, guys, so that finished up there, but as you can see, it's actually not showing up on the left side. However, if we open up mini tool partition, you can actually see that it gives us the 44.5 gigabytes, which is our ROMs and whatnot. It does not give us that huge unallocated space where it would give us the two uh, drives. So what we can do is just close this out, right? Yours may or may not pop up like mine, but I should be able to take this out. You guys hear that there? All right, I'm going to plug into my RG here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when we boot it up. And we're gonna go take a look and see if this has all the ROMs, the BIOS and whatnot. So let me go ahead and just swap this over. You guys are gonna see my Elgato no signal right there because that's what I use for recording the screen on this RG. So we're gonna give it a couple of seconds, let it boot up. It's gonna say Ambernick in about three, four, five seconds here. Let it go, let it go. Hold on. There we go. All right. So let's go to our system information. All right, 1.1.5. There's that 44.5 gigabytes I was telling you guys about. All right, we have the 1.1.5. Let's go into our ROMs and see if we are good. So let's go into PS1. And we have our games here. Let's go ahead into GTA 2 and see if this does boot up. 
perfect. That is what I was waiting for. Me a little black screen. But there you go, guys. That is a 64 gigabyte version. All right, like I said, it may or may not show up on your uh, on your PC. I don't know why. Don't ask me that. But as you can see, it didn't show up for me, and it still works. So, guys, that's going to wrap this up. If it was helpful, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm out, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.